Tom Hoppo now, a Lincoln City player uh, with us. Tom, we'll talk about the game first of all. Frustrating not to get something out of it because you were pretty much matched them a long way through the game. Yeah, I think you've hit the nail on the head there. Um, frustrating because obviously ultimately it's come down to a set piece and you know we probably maybe had opportunities to, to try and to break, the, break the deadlock early on. That hasn't quite happened and I feel like we limited, limited their clear cut opportunities as well so wasn't much in it. Um, but you know it's uh, yeah, disappointing that we haven't probably come over with anything. Because you kind of know what to expect with Ipswich, they'll have a lot of the ball, they'll have deliberate build up but then as the manager said to us it's down to the Lincoln players to get those sort of breakaway moments. Yeah exactly, I felt like we could probably hurt them going forward you know because they like to commit bodies forward um, but we know as a team we just probably didn't execute that today. Um, which you know, something to work on, and luckily you know, another game Tuesday to go and put that right. So, what about yourself? How did the, the move to Lincoln come about? When did you first hear about it? Um, so it would have been I lose track of days now. It's all been a manic <laughs> few days. Uh, last Sunday, um, after my after my game at Southend, and uh, you know, it all developed pretty quickly from there. Um, so you know, it was a case of obviously meeting the staff down here and, and having a chat and, and going through things, and then getting it all sorted out. Was it a relatively easy decision for you? Um, you know, I think. Obviously, once I spoke with the manager here and their plans, and obviously seeing the intent of the club, um, you know, it, it was uh, it was a club I know well, obviously. So it was uh, obviously an important decision for me to make. Um, but you know, one I'm looking forward to now to relish and uh, continuing at Lincoln. Because I think when you were at Scunny, you lived in and around the Lincoln area as well. So you've seen Lincoln over the last few years going through the sort of change of a club. They have. Yeah, exactly. You know, I've, like I can say, as a, when I was at Scunny, I was living in Lincoln, so I've seen, I seen the sort of the growth of the club on and off the pitch firsthand, um, and you know it hasn't stopped since. So you know, now I'm, I'm happy to be finally a part of that journey. And whilst, of course, you know you sympathise with the people you leave behind at South End, it's a very different challenge ahead. Yeah, it is. You know, I've got a lot of a lot of great friends that are still down there. You know, I enjoy my time there. But like you say, it's now a fresh challenge, fresh start. Um, and one I'm really looking forward to. And you know, I mean, you'll have you'll have seen the attendances at, at Lincoln. You're up at nine thousand. But that's a it's a very different world all of a sudden. Yeah, you know, and everyone talks about the fans and how passionate they are, and obviously a great turn up from them again today. So you know, I'm really looking forward to experiencing that. And it's a hell of a statement from the club to give you a three and a half year contract. You'll know at this level of football, that's quite a, a statement. Yeah, massively. You know, that's another reason you know, the sign of intent. That the club showed and, and sort of the belief in me so now that's something now I want to go and repay and, and with the performances on the pitch. And what has the, the manager said to you that he, he wants from you going forward? You know he, he knows my game, he, you know, he, knows, he knows League One very well and so he wants me to continue that and you know build part of this team and, and you know obviously I've got to get used to the way, the way the club plays here and obviously a lot of the players have got to get used to and you know, I'm looking forward to that. Clearly you want to play at the highest possible level but was there an attraction to inverted covers coming home to Lincolnshire? Yeah, obviously, like you say, it's an area I know well. Um, so, you know, in terms of transition, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be too difficult um, because, you know, obviously, like you say, you know, I, know the, I know the area really well. Um, so, you know, I'm looking forward to the clubs on the up and, you know, I want to be part of that.